five common mistakes you're making training your dog. If you're training your dog, make sure to avoid these top five most common mistakes. coach and dog trainer. This channel is all about dog training, behavior, nutrition, and enrichment. So if that's why you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. And once you do, click the bell, click the bell, and select all notifications so that YouTube can notify you when new videos are posted. Don't forget to like this video too. Great. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the top five most common mistakes made when training a dog. We all have the best intentions, but it is possible to make mistakes when trying to train our dogs, especially if we're trying to train without the supervision of a professional positive reinforcement trainer. The first mistake that is quite common is rewarding the wrong behavior. This doesn't usually happen during a training session per se, but in everyday life. For example, if your dog starts to bark and whine because it's daylight savings time and you give in to feeding them an hour early, you're inadvertently reinforcing the idea that your dog can bark and whine and get fed when they want to be fed. Or if your dog jumps up on you and you pet them, you're reinforcing that jumping behavior. So if you're noticing that there is quite a bit of bad behavior going on, take a moment to reflect on how you may be encouraging it. The second most common mistake is being reactive instead of proactive. What do I mean? Don't wait around for your dog to do something naughty and then try to fix it. Letting your dog get to the point of habit with a behavior you don't want is much harder to work with than just consistently rewarding the good behavior from the get-go. For example, if your dog is choosing to calmly relax on their bed and occupy themselves with a toy or bone, reward that behavior. How is your dog supposed to know that is the behavior you want from them if you don't let them know? <laughs> don't sit around waiting for bad things to happen. Instead, reinforce the good behaviors and your dog will be much more likely to continue those behaviors. The third most common mistake I see people making is that they use corrections as a way to teach. Corrections do not teach anything. What do I mean by corrections? Prong collars are an example. Electronic collars are another example. Even yanking or pulling back on the leash is an example of a correction. These in no way teach your dog anything. What they do is introduce fear and pain, which is not conducive to a dog learning. Instead, we use rewards to shape behaviors we want to see from our dog. This one really gets me emotional because so many dogs and puppies are unfairly being subjected to pain and fear, and it truly breaks my heart. The fourth most common mistake I see in dog training is not managing your dog's environment, at least for the first few months that they come to live with you. One of the best things you can do to set your dog up for success is to keep them close by. When your dog first arrives to your home, it's a whole new world for them. They don't know what is off limits or what you expect from them. Block off spaces you don't want them wandering into. Pick up shoes and anything else you don't want to find its way into your dog's mouth and keep your dog close by, providing structure. You should never be wondering where your dog is or what they're doing. And you should always be able to intervene and redirect if your dog is about to do something they shouldn't. Once you and your dog are more comfortable in your routine and in, in your place, you can begin to let up on some of the rigidity, but at least for the first few months, this should be your plan. I often recommend, especially for puppies who are potty training, to attach your dog's leash to their harness and the other end of that leash to you. That way, they are never too far out of reach. The fifth most common mistake people make in training is, well, simply not training at all. I see this time and time again. The puppy will be eight months old and their owner will reach out at wit's end, but never has done anything to train or even provide routine for their dog. Or for an older dog, the most common one that I hear is that they adopted our one or two year old dog about a year ago and the behavior never went away. This may shock some people, but the, the honest to goodness truth is that dog training isn't meant for the dog. Nope, 
is meant for people. Training isn't about commands or cues as I prefer to call them. It's more about bonding and mental exercise. The real learning I find mostly takes place with the owner learning how to properly provide their, for their dog, which in turn alleviates those pesky behaviors they contacted me about in the first place. If you have fallen into any one of these common training mistakes, grab a copy of my book, The Seven Miracle Steps. You can find the link in the description below and join the group where you can ask questions and help others. That link is also below in the description. Let me know in the comments below if any of these mistakes struck a chord with you and let me know more about you and your dog. I always love hearing all about your pets. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.